Hello, I am Bill. Bill the Dill, some people call me, but I know you won't do that, will you? I am here to talk about tripods. Thank you. Many times I have been told what to do with my tripod, and now I am here to tell you what you can do with yours. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Tripods. Thank you. In the beginning, there were no tripods. And viewers had to suffer an unsteady image. So the tripod was invented, and the image became nice and stable. The trouble was that because of the limitations of the tripod, the picture was too static. So Steadicam was invented to free the camera and follow the action. Today, however, as anyone who watches American action movies and TV cop shows knows, Steadicam has been replaced by Wobblecam. So now we are back where we started, with people suffering from a condition known as wobble eyes. If you or your friends do not wish to suffer from wobble eyes, you must use a tripod. They come in various sizes, so be careful to choose one that best suits your needs. Choose me! Choose me! Choose me! Choose me! Choose me! Choose me! Here size is very important for the tripod must suit the camera. Once you have one, you must never leave home without it. Wait for me! When using it, plant its feet firmly in the ground. Shoes must be worn at all times. Make sure all the clamps are tightened before using it. Even if one is overlooked, it may not remain stable. When taking a picture of your young lady, it is good manners to flip the LCD screen around to the front so she can check her appearance. Then you set the camera going when she is ready. Here again, make sure all the clamps on the tripod are tightened before you shoot. With the tripod you can discover amazing things. Forget those handheld wobbly moon shots. With the assistance of your tripod you can zoom in to discover what the moon is really made of. You can use your tripod for special effects, to make a ghost for example. First shoot the scene with a camera firmly mounted on the tripod, then shoot it again with the subject in it. Overlay the two in the editing, give one 50% exposure, dissolve and voila! What happened? As you can see, we now have our ghost. I don't want to be a ghost. It's all rather simple, isn't it? Excuse me, I don't want to be a ghost. Hello, I'm talking to you. Oh, go away, you silly little man. Well, put me back the way I was. I was happy the way I was. If I choose to make you a ghost, you will stay a ghost. How would you like it if I made you a ghost? That is not relevant here. Oh, yes, it is. I have my rights. We will now move on to our next lesson. Oh, no, you don't. You can't get rid of me that easily. Oh, you annoying little man. There. 
Next time you want to make somebody a ghost, ask them first. For those of you who are interested in recording wildlife, <coughs> not that wild, a tripod is essential. However, you must remember that birds in particular are very wary of a tripod. So it is important to disguise it as something else. Here we have disguised a tripod as a bush. Can you pick it? There. Hopefully we can now... What? What is... Shoo! Shoo! Go away! Go away, you horrible little... thing! You must always expect the unexpected. When folded, your tripod is not usually a worry, but care must be taken at all times when it is extended, or the results can be somewhat embarrassing. Well, we can't all be skilled in the art of communication, can we? We'll now have a word from a man in the street. Hello, are you a man in the street? I jolly well am, and proud of it too. I wonder if you would mind answering one or two questions for us. No trouble, sir. Do you have a tripod? I jolly well do. Do you use it a lot? Oh yes, it makes a good fishing rod. Any other uses for it? I use it in the garden as a stake for my beans, and my wife uses it as a little hill's hoist for hanging out her smalls. My son uses it for sword fighting with his mates, and it makes a good TV aerial. Thank you, man in the street. There you are, folks. That shows what a wonderful, versatile instrument a tripod is. But now a word of warning, for there is one very important rule when storing tripods. Never put them together in your cupboard. For there will be consequences. Which in time could be disastrous. Beware of unleashing forces that you cannot control. Remember what happened to one M. Mouse. That about wraps it up. Can I have the lights back, please? I'm not finished here yet. Hey, fellas, I need the lights here. Hey, guys. Oh, shit.